that lifeboat crews do to build a trusting environment? Willingness to learn and come together, no matter how hard it is. Don't trust me to helm a boat, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or, or be the coxswain of the all-weather lifeboat. It's not my forte, but I have trust in every single coxswain and helm to get me home safe. The same as if there was an acute medical um, problem. I thought I'd like to think that they, they trust me and they trust the training that I've also helped them with. And I, I trust all of them. I trust all of them to go to see and, and look after a casualty because I've I've seen firsthand that they've learned and they wanted to. I trust every mechanic to fix the engine when we're drifting into rocks. You know, I trust every single individual on that on that um on that crew, but I also trust them when we get back to the station and we've seen some sad things that we'll come together and have a hug, regardless of our own views. You know, and I find a lot of the lads are there because they want a purpose in life and they want to feel that purpose. They want to feel energized and that a bit of adrenaline junkie kind of feel that that they feel close to death, which makes them feel alive. And that's how I feel. But what we do do is come together as brothers and now brother and sister, <laughs> one female crew. And yeah, it's a really, really nice experience. So when we look at trust in one another, it's just trusting that we'll be there, you know, 